Now I'm going to give you a little glimpse into the future. We'll talk a little bit about the, some of the stuff we're doing with infection control. Uh, how many of you in the room have done a CFD analysis, computational fluid dynamics? Pretty painful process, right? Uh, can be. Uh, and, and, and the challenge with CFD is it's enough of a fixed process that it, we do it towards the end of design as opposed to doing it iteratively with design uh, and allow us to shape our spaces. So what we're trying to do with our simulation tools and the cloud is to change that workflow. So here's some things we've done in the healthcare space to help customers understand. This is a, on the energy side of things, we've done some optimization work. This is a project we did at Princeton University where we looked at labs because labs are really nasty spaces with, especially if you get into labs where they're doing a lot of chemical uh, analysis and you have to move or, or biological hazards you have to move. So the typical rule of thumb in a lab is you put in somewhere in order of 10 to 12 air changes per hour and you move a lot an hour, a, very, a lot of air at a very rapid velocity and you make sure that everything escapes the room. When you analyze one of the labs at Princeton using their 12 air changes per hour, what we noticed in the initial design was blue is air moving slow, red is air moving very quickly, is that we were actually moving the air so rapidly that we're creating vortexes and eddies as the air came around some of the fixed equipment and stuff that was in the room. So instead of evacuating the fumes, we're actually holding the fumes in, in those eddies. So by going in and optimizing the airflow, we're able to drop from 12 air changes per hour down to seven. And if you think about what the cost of a conditioned cubic foot of air is in a laboratory space, to Princeton, that their costs were about $5 per CFM that they exhaust. So by doing some optimization in a single lab, the savings, depending upon the size of the lab, could be anywhere from 100 to 1,000. Uh, and they estimated on their campus uh, the savings as they started to implement it. We're going to start at 100,000, and they thought they could grow to as much as a million dollars a year in saving energy just from optimizing airflow inside of an existing space.